If alien ripoffs are bedbugs, then anime is a cheap motel. Here is yet another alien ripoff anime OVA, 1986's Root Search, which, to the best of my knowledge, does not currently involve LeVar Burton and Whips. So, what does it have to do with then? Idiots in space! Idiots on a psychic research space station drink orange juice and receive a message from God. They're going to die horrible deaths very soon. Congrats. Around the same time as the Deadly Visions, a spaceship shows up. Guess what's on it? If you guess decaying skeletons, you win a no prize. For everybody else, here's a dude they found on the spaceship called Buzz. Along with Buzz, the crew finds a nudist alien that is paler than I am. Luckily, they toss it out an airlock before it can stain the leather furniture. Or so they thought. Yep, that alien left some butt sweat on that chair, and it uses it to come back to life inside the space station. Just like that roommate you kicked out. Soon enough, the whole crew is getting killed by the alien, which shape changes into whatever dumb or evil thing the crew member did in the past, and that is weighing on their mind heavily. Whoever hired these guys really outdid themselves. They have somebody who forged documents, somebody who killed a hooker, somebody who let somebody get killed by a giant alien monster when he could have easily just had him hop into his little hover scooter and drive away. It's impressive. Good job, HR. I know you're the peak of all evil, but you really outdid yourselves here. Anyway, the alien squishes people, makes them blow up real good, or just pretends to be the crew. Maybe the alien likes to pretend to be other people, wear their skin, you know, kind of like how Mega Man wears bosses after he defeats them. Mega Man, where'd that come from? Sorry. Um, so, who's going to survive this? No one! But maybe there's a chance for some of the crew. A second chance. Kind of like how there are extra lives in a video game. Sorry, I get weird. Why did I say that? Anyway, so this is Root Search. Life Devourer X. What a mouthful. Root Search is a fun, well-animated, and fast-paced, flirty piece of trash that wants to be very bad for you and do it all wearing the latest in cute berets and overalls. This time, the anime makers said to hell with trying to copy story items, designs, or characters from Alien. Uh, just give the monster a big old drooly face hole and get back to cranking out more real Ghostbusters episodes, Sakamoto. Jeez! So, the movie has just left to copy other things in its place, like Fulci's The Beyond or the music score, which rips off Gustav Holst, has sound effects for more of the worlds in it, and even represents hell at some point with arcade noises. Huh. I guess the filmmakers thought that video games were hell? I, I don't know. And listen to that music. That sounds an awful lot like something from Mega Man 2. That's the Flashman stage. Yeah, what is with the video game stuff, though? It's... God, I don't know. Maybe this anime just doesn't suit me. Wait. Suit? Oh, my God! When they go on the other spaceship, they're wearing suits that are blue. And they have guns that go over their hands. They look just like Mega Man! I... Sorry. I, I don't know what's going on. Something just keeps, like, popping into my head and saying Mega Man. I don't know what it is. It's weird. Um... I think this anime is getting to me, to be honest with you. Take a deep breath. Okay. So let's look at something else. Uh, what about the soundtrack? Look at this soundtrack cover. It's so awesome. You know, it's kind of like H.R. Giger, but, you know, not a sexualized. Less dicks, more mechs. It has nothing to do with the movie. I love it. Yeah, pretty standard anime track list. It scratched my breast. Well, if you insist, okay. Let's keep going, though. Uh, let's see. What's the next track? Oh. Mega! Oh, God. Suits, gun hands, video game music. The track has Mega in the title. Now, I'm getting real tired here, and this is freaking me out, man. What is going on, dude? Oh, all this stuff's giving me tunnel vision, dude. What? Tunnel. At the end of Root Search, the hero and the heroine are walking through a goopy tunnel. Goopy tunnel. 
Mega Man 2. At the end of Mega Man 2, Mega's running down a tunnel. And what's at the end of that tunnel? Exactly, my exploding friend. Wily was an alien pretending to be Wily, just like the alien in Root Search was pretending to be a human. What does this mean? It's all connected! Oh my god! Oh my god! What's that? It's the alien from the movie! What do you want? Hi, it is me, Toy. But you probably already perceived that. <laughs> Boy, that sure was a bad anime, won't you? I have to implore. Root Search is worth three highly attractive and clearly supreme beings out of five. A good value, surely. Now, who desires their punishment? I can see the color of your guilt. Prepare. I will wear you like a cute beret. He he he. All of these things are designed to frighten a monkey.